Good morning. So today I'm at Tamarack uh, Flat Campground. And yeah, after getting kicked out of the other one. And this is actually my favorite campground. I came here first, but uh, it was full. And so I spent four nights at White Wolf. Uh, but I actually like this campground better. It's cheaper, it's $12 a night. And that's because there's no running water. Uh, there's just pit toilets. And uh, the only water available is from a stream, but that stream is like crystal clear. So anyway, today I'm going to go down and do a hike up to Vernal Falls. Um, it's a kind of a, well for me it's a little strenuous of a hike, but anyway, yeah, this is my campsite for the night. It's pretty awesome, huh? <laughs> I am on my way to the Vernal Falls trailhead. It's uh, called the Mist Trail, and it's one of the more famous trails here in the park. It's actually very... Oh, there's a bobcat. There's a bobcat in the trail right there. Hang on. Oh my gosh. All right, did you see that? <laughs> That's like the second bobcat I've seen here. The last time I, I was hiking up Yosemite, the upper Yosemite Falls Trail. <clears throat> and yeah, this bobcat just like that, just kind of just meandered by and walked like within about, I don't know, maybe 20, 25 feet of me or something. So, cute little kitties. Um, yeah, I have no idea where I was at. Let's see, I was talking about the Mist Trail being super popular. And it's very steep. So, yeah, I mean, it's not like a difficult trail, except that it's steep, very steep. So, all right, let's go. of Vernal Falls. Here we come. When you get to the bridge, you're at the halfway point. And if you stand at the right spot on the bridge, you can look all the way up and see Vernal Falls. And if you look in this opposite direction down the valley, oh my gosh, these granite cliffs, they're just absolutely amazing. It's a little difficult to show in this harsh afternoon light, but yeah, these steep cliffs, they're amazing. Uh, we are halfway there. No time to stop and dilly-dally. 
We'll stop at the top and have snacks. The famous Mist Trail, probably the most popular trail in Yosemite, and it's spectacular and steep. This is the toughest for me. These are granite steps and they're very uneven. And uh, yeah, some of them are very high up, so uh, you really have to get a big step on many of these. Oh my god, today must be leg day because this is the workout. Bernal Falls is just at a trickle right now in the spring and very early summer. It's just a torrent of water and Mist Trail of course gets its name because there's just a huge mist that envelops this whole valley here. But even when it's a trickle, it's absolutely beautiful.
can't even begin to explain how steep these stairs are. They're just killer. Oh my gosh, almost there. So close. <laughs> So this is what the top of Vernal Falls looks like. It's just amazingly beautiful here. I just, I don't think you can catch the grandeur unless you're actually here, but this is an amazing place. And looking down into the valley, there's nothing like it. So now it's time to relax for a few minutes, catch our breath, have some energy mix, and then go back down. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there is this most beautiful pool just up from the falls. It's just gorgeous here. I can't even explain. There's the Merced River is flowing into the pool over this beautiful smooth granite. Oh wow. This is called the Silver Apron, and it empties back there into Emerald Pool.
so I decided to take a different way down and I'm just climbing up and up I'm way above the falls at this point and I'm really looking forward to going downhill for just a little while and oh my gosh get a load of this The sun has just gone down past the mountains in front of me and I'm just starting my way down. So, and right behind me, you can see Liberty Cap and just to the right of Liberty Cap is Nevada Falls. <clears throat> this is such a spectacular view, it's so beautiful up here. I, the pictures will not do this justice. Huh. I did not bring a headlamp with me because I honestly thought I would go quicker, but you know, I really dilly-dallied around the bottom of Vernal Falls, so this is my own fault. So I really need to kind of rush it and get down before it gets too dark. Once again, this is some very steep and very uneven terrain, so I made it back to the bridge. All right, so now I know it's about a mile back to my car. And uh, yeah, there's a good steep section, but at least I know what I'm doing now. So, oh, the sun is just setting on Liberty Cap. You gotta see this. gosh, I just can't get over these sheer granite walls, just how beautiful it all is. Going down these really steep inclines really does like mash on your knees. My knees are going to be feeling this for a few days and my Achilles tendon. That too. So I am officially back on the valley floor. The last of the sun is just hitting North Dome. Yeah, that is one hell of a hike. Oh my gosh. And yeah, I'm glad I could take you along. All right. I'm almost back to my car and I have to say that that hike officially kicked my butt. Oh. Where's Mr. Bobcat right now? Where's she at, Bobcat? 